I had Diego Lima versus Bilal Muhammad. All right, go in. All right. So, um, if you haven't watched a lot of our our shows, a common thing that we say is has. This guy has a loss to Bilal Muhammad. <laughs> uh, Bilal Muhammad has beaten a lot of a lot of studs. Um, this is a solid 170, 170 matchup. I, 170 is like one of the best divisions in the UFC. Um, the last time that Bilal Muhammad's been finished was um, four years ago to Vincente Luque, who who caught him at UFC 205, but it definitely was like, I, 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 w- I would like to see how that fight would have played out. And then he lost the decision to Jeff Neal about two years ago. So nice. ever since then, he's on a three fight winning streak, um, beating Cur- Curtis Melinda, Takashi Sato and Lyman Good. Um, plain and simple, I think this is lock of the night. Um, Diego Lima, 15 and seven. He's coming off a three straight win, but Court McGee, Jake Jamal, and Chad LaPrize, with with before that having losses to Jesse Taylor and Yushun Okami, I think that just Bilal Muhammad is just going to show what level he's on. Um, we're pretty big on him for a reason. Big, I'm big on a lot of Rufus Sport guys, but yeah, I think he gets the job done. He's he's luck of the night for me. That's funny. I did write. Um... This one might be lock of the night on mine also. Bilal Muhammad is like Ryan Hall. No one in the top 10 wants anything to do with biting them. He's like, they are the most feared. Like they, they sometimes can't get fights just because guys don't want to fight them because they're so good because they know they're going to lose. He was like that for a while. Exactly. Yeah. Bilal Muhammad is that. Look how many guys he fought. How many guys in the UFC did he fight? Let me check this out. He fought... Uh, 11 guys in the UFC is 8-3. and three. And so like, His only loss being his UFC debut to Alan Joban and Vincente Luque in 2016, and then losing to Jeff ne- Hand to Steel Neal, who's a fucking stud if you haven't, no- if you haven't noticed yet. Sure. Um, but yeah, this Diego Lima fight, I think he's going to run through him, and somebody in the top, he's go- he, he, he deserves a top 10, top, top somebody after Diego this. Diego Lima had a had a lot of hype coming into the UFC, like fizzled out, you know, he did, but I, you're right. He did get it, his shit together recently. And we went on that three fight tear. Yeah. But Bilal Muhammad's ranked 13. He wants a, he wants a top 10 ranked opponent. I think he, he runs through him um, one way or another. Um, if anything, unanimous decision and, but a convincing one at that one that, you know, he won. Um, that's a fight where, He's probably going to be a huge favorite. I haven't even looked at the odds for this one. Um, and I think he's going to be like the highest draft Kings guy um, up there. Probably with, no, I, th- I wouldn't put Usman that high. I wouldn't put, I, I think he's more of a lock winning than Usman winning, put it that way. So that's craziness. Um, odds right now ref- actually reflect. Oh! Oh, minus, three, minus, minus, minus 400. 470 minus 400 he's got a lot of minus 400 yeah, over closer, but i'm just so I, I know we'll get into it later but yeah dude it's gonna be a bloodbath i think anyone you can't it's tough to fight below okay. Muhammad, he's, not, he's not gonna have fun yeah diego lima it's it just he hasn't he hasn't fought in 16 months either he's just like an awesome an awesome guy but um he's a chill dude that that season of uh the ultimate fighter that he's on, he's like the nicest guy around. But he's gonna get his brains beat in. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right, so we're both going below Muhammad pretty confidently on that one. Yeah. All right, so next one. Yeah.